she made one of the most dramatic entrances at the star-studded Met Gala on Monday night in a completely covered-up, all-black look courtesy of Balenciaga. And now Kim Kardashian is clapping back at those who criticized her show-stopping look. The 40-year-old mogul was quite proud of her fashionable entrance at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City on Monday as she shared several snaps from the red carpet along with a message for those who said the look did not fit the In America theme. Scroll down for video she captioned the gallery to her 253 million followers, what's more American than a t-shirt head to toe? Kim's outfit was one of the biggest stories on fashion's biggest night as the minimalist look was inspired by a strange husband Kanye West. The reality star completely covered up her face in an all-black head-to-toe Balenciaga ensemble including balaclava at the gala event. Keeping it simple, the 40-year-old reality star completely covered up her face in an all-black head-to-toe Balenciaga ensemble including balaclava at the gala event Moist, being completely covered up seemingly did not stop the star from spending hours in the makeup chair as makeup artist Mario De Devanovic took to Instagram to share a few snaps of their beauty regimen, he is shown applying luxury skincare brand La Mer's Gram de la Mer on her face but why? It didn't seem to be just moisturizer on her face as Mario shared another image of Kim entirely glammed up with a full face of makeup along with extra long extensions in her hair being completely covered up seemingly did not stop the star from spending hours in the makeup chair as makeup artist Mario De Devanovic took to Instagram to share a few snaps of their beauty regimen. The 37-year-old makeup artist was shown shown applying luxury skincare brand La Mer's Gram de la Mer on her face. It didn't seem to be just moisturizer on her face as Mario shared another image of Kim entirely glammed up with a full face of makeup along with extra long extensions in her hair. In the details, the ensemble designed by creative director Demnig Vashalia for the Paris-based high fashion label featured several matching dark pieces including a t-shirt dress over a curved t-shirt with a bodysuit dark side. The black look had several intricate pieces despite the simplicity of its look as it also included jersey boots panty leggings all eyes on her. Kim managed to be the center of attention without her face being shown the ensemble designed by creative director Demnig Vashalia for the Paris-based high fashion label featured several matching dark pieces including a t-shirt dress over a curved t-shirt with a bodysuit. The black look had several intricate pieces despite the simplicity of its look as it also included jersey boots panty leggings. The accessories were kept uniform as she also sported long gloves and a full face mask which kept her makeup under wraps. Avant-garde, Kim's look managed to show off her curves despite it being completely black spooky season, no doubt it was a haunting sight in the shadows, she was seen at the event with the 40-year-old Sokami Barn designer Demna her brunette dresses poked out of the balaclava in the form of a ponytail featuring extensions which hung down to below her derriere. Kim's estranged husband Kanye opted to skip the event but his presence still managed to be felt. According to TMZ, the rapper was a driving force behind the look as he gave Kim the courage to push the envelope with creativity and people's imagination through art. The publication also reports that Kanye was the one who introduced the mother of his four kids to the 40-year-old Sokami Barn designer Demna who walked the A-lister down the red carpet. Eerie. Composed up in front of one of the installations at the event Yin to her Yang, she posed up with half-sister Kendall Jenner who rocked a look which definitely contrasted Kim's shining star, the IMG repped stunner, 25, put on a dazzling display while wearing a sheer Givenchy gown lavished in glittering gemstones Interesting, Kendall and Kim chatted at the event making for quite the interesting snap dark side. Kim was also joined by momager Kris Jenner Artsy, 
Kim's silhouette was unmistakably her even Kim's Instagram matched with her dark look as her profile picture had been changed to a black box which resembled the cover of estranged husband Kanye's recently released album Donda. Meanwhile the star has since been mocked on social media for looking like one of the foulest creatures that walk this earth. Kim was compared to a Dementor from the Harry Potter series as many took to Twitter to post memes poking fun of her outfit at the gala event. One user posted a snap of Kim compared to the wraith-like dark creature with the message, Kim K dressed up as a Dementor from Harry Potter wig hashtag meet gala heading out. Earlier in the evening Kim was seen leaving the Ritz-Carlton Hotel where several of the A-listers were seen departing strutting her stuff, she headed out of the hotel as many fans waited outside just for a glimpse of the star watch your step. A security guard let Kim out as her face was fully covered another said, it's giving very much Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows hashtag met gala. Others compared Kim's look to another piece of medium, the album art of her estranged husband Kanye West's latest album Donda, which was just a blank black image. A Twitter user commented, Kim K cosplaying as Donda cover. Balenciaga met 2021, Kim later took to Instagram to share professional photo shoot snaps of the ensemble wow factor, the images had a dark and sinister look about them as they resembled comic book movie villains Kim was later seen arriving back to the Ritz Carlton in a luxury van. She stepped back into her five-star hotel before quickly emerging in a quirky outfit reminiscent of Batman supervillain Catwoman. Kim flaunted her curvaceous figure in the clinging cat suit also designed by Balenciaga's Vashalia. It featured a cape-like train which dragged across the floor but was wrapped around her waist like a skirt instead of off the shoulder. Good fun, meanwhile, Kim was compared to a Dementor from the Harry Potter series as many took to Twitter to post memes poking fun of her outfit at the gala event another said, it's giving very much Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows hashtag met gala um did y'all know Kim K was in Harry Potter, many others made the same comparison to the character in the Wizard series of books and films Kim K cosplaying as Dawn to cover, others compared Kim's look to another piece of medium, the album art of her estranged husband Kanye West's latest album Donda, which was just a blank black image proud, Kim famously shared screenshots of the 44-year-old rapper's album playing on mute to her Instagram story she completed the look with a black masquerade-inspired mask which resembled the DC Comics villain. Her raven-colored dresses were worn down with a wet look as her makeup was topped off with light brown lip. Kim also happened to bring along a supervillain posse as she arrived for an after-party with two eccentrically dressed women. The Met Gala is finally back after being cancelled in 2020 amid the pandemic. This year it was pushed to September from its traditional slot on the first Sunday in May. The theme is in America a lexicon of fashion and the event features a heavy hidden contingent of celebrity co-chairs, actor Timothy Chalamet, musician Billie Eilish, poet Amanda Gorman and tennis star Naomi Osaka. Incognito, even Kim's Instagram matched with her dark look as her profile picture had been changed to a black box which resembled the cover of estranged husband Kanye's recently released album Donda Epic. Kim took to her Instagram story to share a repost of someone's photo of the chaos outside the Ritz-Carlton Hotel when she left honorary chairs for the evening will be designer Tom Ford, sponsor Instagram's Adam Masseri, and Vogue's Anna Winter. At just 19, Billy will make history as the youngest ever co-chair of the prestigious event. When the hosts were first announced, Vogue magazine said, each of the Met's four co-hosts embodies the defining factor of American style, individualism. She's back.
Kim was later seen arriving back to the Ritz-Carlton in a luxury van all eyes on her, she was greeted by several fans crowd pleaser, she stood in place so adoring followers could snap pics before making her way into the hotel they have each, developed a distinct visual language for their public personas, one that is informed by the legacy of iconic fashion made in the USA. The must-have accessory for all at this year's gala is a COVID-19 vaccine. Currently, all attendees at the Met Gala on September 13 must provide proof of full vaccination and will also be expected to wear masks indoors except when eating or drinking, a spokesperson for the Met said last month. On the prowl, she stepped back into her five-star hotel before quickly emerging in a quirky outfit reminiscent of Batman supervillain Catwoman Meow, Kim flaunted her curvaceous figure in the clinging cat suit also designed by Balenciaga's Vashalia in the details, it featured a cape-like train which dragged across the floor but was wrapped around her waist like a skirt instead of off-the-shoulder vixen, her raven-colored dresses were worn down with a wet look as her makeup was topped off with light brown lip squad goals, Kim also happened to bring along a supervillain posse as she arrived for an after-party with two eccentrically dressed women on the go, she arrived at Cathedral Restaurant after the big gala event this year's gala will be a more intimate affair, to be followed by a larger one on May 2, 2022. Both will launch a two-part exhibition, a survey of American fashion to be on view for almost a year. In America, a lexicon of fashion, opening sept. 18, will celebrate the 75th anniversary of the museum's Costume Institute and explore a modern vocabulary of American fashion, the spokesperson added. Part 2, in America, an anthology of fashion, will open in the museum's popular American Wing period rooms on May 5, 2022, and will explore American fashion, with collaborations with film directors, by presenting narratives that relate to the complex and layered histories of those spaces. Both parts will close on Sept. 5. 2022. Queen and slim filmmaker Melina Matsukas has been commissioned to create an open ended film to project in the galleries, with content changing during the course of the exhibition. The gala is a major fundraiser, providing the Costume Institute with its primary source of funding. As always, the exhibits will be the work of star curator Andrew Bolton. Bolton has previously noted how challenging the past year had been for the fashion community. It's been incredibly inspiring to see how designers have responded to the ongoing challenges of the pandemic, how they've found new outlets to express their creativity and new ways to present their collections, he said. Bolton added that many designers had been at the vanguard of the discussion about diversity and inclusion, the social justice movements of last summer reinforced their commitment to these issues and also consolidated their leadership in advancing the conversation. In addition to Matsukas, other confirmed collaborators from the film world include cinematographer Bradford Young whose projects have included Selma and When They See Us, production designers Nathan Crowley and Shane Valentino, and Franklin Leonard, film executive and founder of The Blacklist, a listing of top unproduced screenplays.